Hi guys, welcome to this video. From this video, I'm starting a new tutorial series on the latest version of Angular, which is Angular 16. This tutorial series is for beginners who have learned HTML, CSS and JavaScript and wants to learn and enhance their knowledge in JavaScript libraries or framework. And if you have chosen Angular, you are at the right place because I'll be covering all the major topics of Angular. I have almost seven year experience building applications in Angular. I started off with Angular angular version 1 and currently it is the angular 16 so i'll be creating small applications during this tutorial series and by the end of this course you will be able to build a large enterprise level applications after completing this tutorial series if you already have basic understanding of angular and you are looking for some advanced topics i've already created few videos on different advanced topics of angular 16 you can check out my playlist angular tutorials and in that playlist i have created videos on angular lifecycle hooks angular universal the server side rendering client side rendering pre-rendering angular subjects and behavior subjects this is used for the state management ngrx and our ngrx effects check out my playlist and if you are a beginner you are at the right place so let's get started with the angular 16 tutorial series and talk about what is angular what are the things we are going to be talking about in this tutorial series so before moving forward i just want to request you guys to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you get the notification for upcoming videos so let's talk about what is angular it is an awesome javascript framework built by google and it is used to build awesome interactive front-end web applications recently few years back angular is supported by ionic framework ionic framework is used to build mobile applications as well but that is a different topic in this tutorial series we will only be building web applications using angular all right so these are the topics that we will be covering in this tutorial series it provides us the component based architecture you won't be able to understand it at start but as we write code and start creating angular project you will have a better understanding about it we will talk about the data binding dependency injection pipes ssr the server side rendering it is a very important concept i've already created a long extensive video on server side rendering if you're already aware of angular then you can check out my tutorial series angular tutorials where you can learn about it but in this tutorial series i will again be talking about some further concepts of server side rendering client side rendering it provides us a progressive web apps it is an awesome concept that we will be talking about we'll talk about services signals and also we'll talk about the state management how we can share data between multiple components we'll talk about rxjs forms routings modules lazy load angular material we will be building projects and assignments during this tutorial series and at the end we'll talk about the deployment and you are at the right place because we will be actually covering all the major topics of angular i will explain you from my seven years experience how we can write an awesome good and the best practices to create the folder structure for creating angular projects write an awesome maintainable and a good quality code all right so let's get started and create a new angular project and talk about what is the folder structure initially provide when we create a new angular 16 project so for creating a new angular project you need to have the latest version of node.js installed in your system so you need to open up the node.js website on your browser and you need to download the latest version of node.js in your system whether you are using mac windows or ubuntu so you can actually download the recommended for most users version once you download it and install in your system you need to actually verify the version whether it's successfully installed in your system or not so once you download and install node in your system you can open up the terminal or any shell window in your system and you need to verify whether the node is successfully installed in your system and in order to verify you just need to write node space hyphen hyphen version and if it shows the version it means that node is successfully installed after that you also need to verify the npm hyphen hyphen version and the npm is also installed you don't need to install it separately along with the node the npm will be automatically installed npm stands for node package manager and this is how we will be able to install and create angular project and download all the dependencies required in our angular project now for writing code we will be using any code editor 
for this tutorial series and this is what I would recommend to use the VS code. This is an awesome code editor for creating the JavaScript projects. It is built by Microsoft. So you can go to the code.videostudio.com and in this you can actually download your required version of VS code on your Mac, Windows or Linux. And once you will download and install it, you can open it up in your system for start creating a new Angular project. Once you open up the VS code in your system after installing installation you need to open up a new folder and in that folder you can actually create a new angular project you need to go to the file click on the open folder and then you need to actually create or open up any particular folder in your direct so currently i have created a folder angular tutorials which i have opened in my vs code in VS Code, if you click on this extensions icon, I would recommend you to install this Angular Snippets version 16. It will help you creating small snippets of Angular automatically in VS Code. I would recommend you to install this Console Ninja. And uh, then I would also recommend you to actually install this Prettier Code Formatter. These three extensions will really help you to write your Angular code. Now we need to create a new Angular project. For creating a new Angular project, we need to have the Angular CLI installed in our system. We know that we have already installed Node and NPM and we have tested their versions. And on the right side, you can see I have opened up the Angular documentation and this is the command that we need to write and NPM will be used to actually install Angular CLI. So I'll just copy this statement and I can open up any terminal or you can also open up the terminal of your VS code by going to the terminal and click on the new terminal it will pop up a new window from the bottom and here you can paste this command okay i will open up any terminal from here and if you're using mac or linux you can write the sudo keyword before that it will ask you to give the uh, password of your system that you need to provide and after that you need to paste that line npm install hyphen g at angular cli hyphen g means that it will be installed globally in our system means that we will be able to access angular cli in any of the terminal whether it's vs code vim or the uh, command shell or any terminal okay and once you will hit enter it will uh, be installing it and then you can can actually verify the version of angular cli whether it's successfully installed in your system or not i've already installed that in my system so i won't be installing it again and in order to verify whether it's successfully installed or not uh, it's always a good practice to close this terminal and open it up again uh, after installation then i can write ng version without hyphen hyphen i will hit enter and then it will show me the version of node and then it's showing me the angular cli version over here which is 16.1.5 and if the version of angular cli is 16 it means that when we will be creating a new angular project it will be automatically of version 16. let's now get started and create our new angular 16 project i've opened up the new terminal of the vs code by going to the terminal clicking on the new terminal and it will open up this new terminal from the bottom and in this terminal I will simply write I have opened up the folder already as you know and I will write ng new and I will be actually naming the project which I want to create so this is the first project so I'll start off with one dot and I will start off with introduction okay and I will hit enter it will ask me whether I want to add the routing along with it it's basically adding the routing configurations extra routing file so I'll start up with that because in every project we will be requiring routing so it's always a good practice to click and hit Y and hit enter then I need to select the kind of styles that I want to use so I'll be clicking on the SCSS use the arrow keys of your keyboard and select SCSS second one and I'll hit enter now it's actually installing all all the files you can see that on the left side it has actually created a new folder with the same name which I provided to it and it's downloading all the dependencies of the project for running the angular project on our browser it will take some time so let's wait for this so it has completed installation of angular project you can ignore this git configuration it is suggesting because in a new angular project it automatically initialize it with the git okay so here I have just opened up this introduction you can see that it has created a lot of files and a lot of folders uh, inside it and uh, I'll be explaining each and every major file of this folder structure uh, in the next video for now we have actually installed it let's let's now run our project and see if it's working on the browser 
or not okay and in order to run our project i'll simply go to the package.json file and here you can see that it has given us these scripts let me zoom in a bit right and uh, these are the scripts that we can use to actually run our project build our project watch the project at build time and run the unit tests okay and th these are the key value pairs if you have learned javascript you can see that we have the keys and then the value against that key okay and in the terminal we can actually use these keys to actually run the commands which are the values assigned against each of these keys okay so this is the start command that we can write in order to run this key in our terminal make sure that you are in your one dot introduction folder in your terminal but i'm not in that so in the terminal i'll simply write the cd one dot introduction i'll hit enter now i'm actually inside that folder of angular and here i will write the npm run and after this i can give the name of any of this key which i want to run so i want to run the start so i'll simply write the npm run start i'll hit enter it will first actually initialize my project generate browser application bundles uh, the reason it's actually creating the bundles for the deployment you can see that on the left side it has actually created this dot angular folder and a lot of different required files it has created to actually run it on the browser now in the terminal you can see that it has compiled successfully and our project is actually running on local host 4200 i will simply open this url on my browser so our project is running and you can see it has this simple ui and it is by default provided when we create a new angular project obviously we will be removing this complete ui but this is what it gives and this ui is coming mainly from the source directory if we go to the app directory and this is the html file it gives us app.component.html and all of this ui is coming from this particular file which we will be removing so i hope that you have got an idea how we can install different tools node npm vs code install angular cli and create a new angular project if you have liked my video don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much for watching see you in the next video